Listen, here's my thing with D.O. I never saw drugs. Uh, I see a lot of bad things by athletes. All I saw with him was a little neediness and drama. I can live with that. He's a gold jacket guy to me. He also watches a ton of NBA, and there's like two or three stories I want his opinion on. So T.O. is in the house today, a Hall of Famer, six-time Pro Bowler, a four-time All-Pro. T.O. in the house. <laughs> so let, let's start. Let's start, because I my, my takeaway is you think I don't like you, and that's not true. I'm just, I think I'm very authentic. I, I argued a thousand times on this network, and the other network, T.O.'s the first belt Hall of Famer. I don't even want to hear it. I don't got any drugs. I see a lot of problems with pro athletes. I don't have any of that crap with him. Little needy sometimes. You've been very critical. Well, well, but, but, very critical. But why, why, why am I critical? I think sometimes with the, without a lot of facts. Really? I'm just making stuff up out here. I mean, I mean, people have. I mean, you create the narrative that I was a bad teammate where you could have, not even just you, but just media in general, uh, could have said, I was a great teammate based on what some of my teammates have come out and said. But I understand journalism. I know that what I provided was a lot of, you know, clickbait, bait clicks, whatever you well, want to call get, it. I don't get paid. I, no, I, I will say this. And I, I've always been a believer, <clears throat> Terrell, that if I'm critical of somebody, right. I invite them on the show. I invite yeah. Westbrook can show up anytime on my show. Yeah. And I'm not going to run from it. I'm, I, see, I, I respect you for coming on my show. Because a lot of guys go and hide. Like, I'll, I'll rip a guy, but I'll bring him on. Here's what I would say about you. Now, you're way more talented than Des Bryant. It's not real close. But I do think I've watched the Amazon Prime series with Des Bryant. Okay. And I think it's keeping him out of the league. I think people have watched that series and thought, oh, God, he's a lot of work in these meetings. And it was okay when he separated. And now he didn't separate. I would say, now, you're a way you're, – you're a Hall of Famer. Des is not a Hall of Famer. But I think there were – concerns about you in locker rooms at times being needy that what, you what? wanted to be heard constantly and and i think no that's- i never wanted to be heard constantly i was very very competitive uh, my passion and my love for the game often got misconstrued as such um, when you think about what i was able to provide on teams i learned how to play the game in san francisco so i learned that that west coast offense i knew what jerry did and so i had to fill those shoes so i understood what playing with the ball and without the ball. I understood my value. And so when I went from a situation where, again, there was a lot of turmoil and a lot of things coming going on in San Francisco, I tried to write those, I tried to, you know, write those wrongs when I went to Philadelphia. A lot of people speculated as to what went on with there. Um, but you look at it now, people realize, like, yo, I wasn't the problem. Um, there was a lot of things that ca- gotten take, get, was taken out of context with an interview that I did. So they thought I was throwing uh, Donovan on the bus. That wasn't what I did. If they would have read the whole transcript, they would have saw and heard uh, what I was saying so, exactly so, about Donovan. By the way, you're obviously in great shape. You're 44. You're a Hall of Famer. You know, I, I don't think I'd invite you to camp. You're 44 years old. Now, you do right. look fan. You, you and Scottie Pippen have the best. First of all, I, you you're, can't say what I can't do. But you're 44. It doesn't matter. Well, kind of. No, it doesn't. Receivers. It, it, you, you, it's never been done. Because you, you can say that because nobody's ever done it. But you can't say what I can't do. What do you do run a 40 in right now? I just ran like a 4.5 the other, like about a month ago. Where? Culver City. My you know, buddy, the they, clocks they, have always been off in Culver City. They've always been a little slow. <laughs> well, you're welcome to time me, too. It doesn't matter. I can well, go uh, you'll let me time you? Absolutely. Where? Anytime you want. Time out. Anytime you want. In our back of our... <laughs> Anytime you want. <laughs> in the stage. It, does, it doesn't matter. Look, you're 44 years what old. Di- okay, so what? Tom Brady, the only reason he's playing the way he's playing and the reason why he's saying he can play to 45 is because he has a lot of meatheads protecting him. And he has the skill set. So, of course, he can play to that level. But you can't tell me what I can't do. Nobody thought I would do the things that I did on the football field yeah, coming what, out of Benjamin Russell High School and going to UT Chattanooga. You're, you're in the Hall of Fame. So what, is it, what difference does it make? Well, what, what, First what of you, all, let me, let's put it this way. I'm not actively seeking to get in, but if, some, if the, the right opp- opportunity provided itself, I would entertain Okay, so it. what's holding you out? I mean, why wouldn't I break? Hell, I could invite you to camp for fun. Right, yeah, because. Why won't they? Well, wow. number one, obviously the media. Obviously, there's probably a media firestorm. A, a, a big uh, PR. I don't it's think it's gonna be a big PR that, situation. That, you're sounds like you're being a little bit of a victim there. I don't buy that. No, okay, what well, the fact that they say, just as you said, that I'm 44. 
Now that I can argue, but, right, but, but there would be no controversy. You'd be fun. If you join the Rams tomorrow, hell, I, that's a fun story. It's like, not, I'm going to fill some seats and I'm going to move the chains. Well, I don't know. Well, I can be. I can. Well, I can why did you know? I mean, listen, you look, you got great abs. I'm never going to deny that. You look fantastic right there. I look fantastic, period. <laughs> Come on. Okay. But you can't sit up there and say that I can't play. I'm Just because I'm, because I'm 44. That, is that your only argument? Is that well, I'm yeah, 44? Age I'm 90, is nothing but a word. I don't need, it's not enough. It's a word. Yeah, but it's an old word. When I'm 78 years old up here and I'm like, hey, coming up You're next. 44 and my 44 is a big difference. Uh, believe me, gun show over here. Slow that, slow your roll. I'm not, a, <laughs> I'm I'm not some fat radio meatball. I actually work out every day. Right, but look what you're doing. You're talking every day. Yeah. You can't talk yourself onto the football field and play. There's nothing. But I can play the game. It's just, like I said, I'm not – just say if I do play. Am I asking to play 60, 75 plays a game? Absolutely not. But if you put me in a situation on a team that's on the cusp of really getting to the playoff and making it to, making a Super Bowl run – I'm valuable. You think about red zone. Well, then I certain think, down and uh, Listen, I'm, I'm not very, denying your size. I think there's a. You're saying the media. You're denying my ability. That's what you're. That's what you're no, doing. No, I am. I am confronting you on something because I believe this is, and I like you coming on the show. I do believe there is a belief in the league, and I don't think it's false all the time that you can be a lot of work. No, you, but that again, if you ask the right people, well, they will tell you that I'm not a lot of work. Ask your co- ask my my position coaches Ray Sherman, George Stewart, David Cully. You can bring Andy Reid on this show. No, He'll Andy take, likes you. I know. I know Andy. exactly. So you think about a guy like that. They know who I am as a person. Otherwise, they wouldn't even bring me into their organization. Okay, why can't Des Bryant make a team right now? Why not? I mean, he could have had a uh, he had an opportunity. Obviously, he turned down the contract with the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah. So again, I think with him, he wants to to put himself in the best position to to to, to succeed. Um, again, when I put him, for example, when I left San Francisco and I, it was a little trade issue, yeah. they traded me to Baltimore. And it had nothing to do with Ray Lewis and all these other guys. I wanted to go to a, go into a situation where I could flourish as a receiver. Sure. I knew that they had Cal Bowler at the time. Yeah. And, and like I said, no knock on him, but I did what yeah. was best for me. No, I to, totally get that. Right. So yeah. and I think he's trying to assess his opportunity and his value and what he could provide for a team. Do you think he, he'll land somewhere? I, eventually, I think he will land somewhere. I mean, even if it's a one-year deal or whatever. If Brandon Marshall can land on a team uh, who just was with the Giants, he came off a, a – Ankle injury or what have right. you, then I think he he'll, he'll he'll land somewhere. So you're watching some of this NBA stuff. I want to show you this video. Absolutely, I love it. Now you're a big NBA guy. I saw you the other night. You were uh, in the tunnel with who? Who? who who's, that was uh, Dale who, Curry. I who's was giving you these seats? Was that? I bought my seats. You bought them? Yeah. Nobody's giving me anything. It's earned. All right. So. I saw this video. This was, first of all, the refs stunk in game one. I thought they stole it from LeBron. I really did. No, I don't want to say it. I thought they stole it from the city of Cleveland. I don't want to put it on LeBron. But I'll say this. Character is defined in crisis. Any pilot can fly a plane with no turbulence. When turbulence hits, that's when I need a leader in the cockpit. Look at this video of LeBron in between the fourth and overtime. Now, I've already seen it. this This seems like a tantrum to me. We're going into overtime here, T. You know, he was like, oh, my gosh, I got to go back out here and face Katie, Clay, and Steph. We can't win. <laughs> that's what he was saying. Doesn't he look like, though, that's not a great look for him. That He looks defeated. And understanding, again, if I'm reading his lips correctly, he was asking about timeouts, and he realized that he had timeouts that they could have called once Jr. got the rebound. So, again, that was a communication. That was a whole team meltdown. So now I'm looking at this. You can't just put it on JR because if you knew that you had timeouts, you have to talk through those situations, especially as a leader of a team and a head coach of the team. You got to communicate because you got to run through these scenarios with your team and in your head, especially LeBron. You know, he can recite plays oh, I know. throughout the entire quarter. So yeah. he should have known how many timeouts that he had. So if you know that George Hill is going up there to shoot two free throws, to possibly put them up by one. He hits the first one, misses the second. So in this situation, if you got a situation in your head, okay, if he misses this or he makes it, you know what to do. You got to at least be over there. Even the coach, be next to a next to a referee. If he gets the rebound, we get the rebound, I'm calling timeout immediately. Yeah. So that's a meltdown by the whole entire team. 
You can't just put it on JR. But LeBron's the leader. You, you can't throw a tan- – I got a 12-year-old son. I get, I get that. And I've, I just got off Joyce uh, uh, podcast. Yeah. And I just said this. Put Kobe – and Michael Jordan in that situation. I don't think they'd melt down. Do they act? Do they react that way? No. So again, when you have all these conversations about greatest of all time, this is pretty much a prime example. Why, for me, people separate those two. No, I don't think Kobe would do that. No, I don't think Michael Jordan would do no. that either. No, I think but Michael again, would be pissed. Again, everybody is different. Again, for whatever reason... LeBron, I guess, obviously, he reacted the way he did. I have no explanation for it. But, again, in that situation, it, to me, it just seems like, again, we had timeouts. We didn't use it. Uh, we, missed it we missed a big opportunity. No, Rob Parker came on. It was really interesting. 45 minutes ago, T.O., he made an interesting point. He said, before the game started, if you'd have told LeBron, you're going to go to overtime with him, you'd be like, sign me up. I'll go to overtime. <laughs> I only got to beat him for three minutes. You'd have signed on the dotted line. And then it came, and he melted down, and he got— well, that's, well, then, that's what I was thinking, too. Like, you put Kobe or MJ in this situation. To go into overtime, again, it's, any, it's anybody's game. So then that's when you really—you you, you, you lock up, you know what I mean? For game one of the finals, I'm on the road. I go to overtime. If you told me that an hour before the game— and I'm a 13-point underdog, I'd sign up I'm for that signing, every, I'm, every I'm, time. I'm like you. I'm signing up. But again— Everybody is different. But, they the handle way, certain situations differently. By the way, why don't pro athletes uh, – let me ask you. Who do you like more, Russell Westbrook or Steph Curry? Ooh. I, I, like the, I like Russ's tenacity. I like Steph's, I like, I like Steph's all-around game because he, provi- he provides something that's, that's, that we haven't seen in a long, long time. No sitting on the fence. Who would you take on your team? I'm going with Steph. Okay. Let's hear it for T.O. Finally, a professional athlete. Yeah, I'm going with Steph. Pro athletes love Westbrook. He's hard to play with. I like but he a, brings a lot of he he brings a lot of what you need to the game as well. He brings that competitiveness, that 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 fire. He's a I mean he's a no nonsense guy. He's gonna back you up and he's gonna protect himself at the same time. Okay, you haven't played since 2010. It's eight years. You're What's a Hall mean? of Famer. Yeah. Let's just go out, have a nice life. I can. I still can go out and have a nice life. But if the opportunity arises, why not? Why can't I? Like I told you, why can't I be? Maybe I'm the first yeah, Hall of Famer to play. Okay. Let me throw this out to you. What's up? You're going to get upset with me. I mean, okay. I have suggested this for dozens of players. Suggested. Why okay. don't you go play for two months in Canada? Everybody goes, holy hell, he can still play. Okay, so okay, why, why, if, why, I, if I got, if you giving me the open floor to, to, to go play for Canada, why can't I play here in the well, States? Because you can go, because sh- people are reluctant. Johnny Manziel's like, I'm going to prove to you guys. Warren Moon, Vince Ferragamo, Johnny Manziel, Tebow should have done it. But I'm not Team Tebow and I'm not Johnny Manziel. I'm Go up a, there I'm for the Rough Riders. Do a I'm, out in a, I'm in a different class. I'm in a different class than those guys. Warren Moon's a Hall of Famer. Right, but I'm, he's not really trying to play either, I don't think. What does that have to do with this situation? So you, you're offended by the CFL? No, I'm not offended, but why would I subject myself to that when I know that I have NFL talent and skill set? Like, my skills haven't d- diminished. Well, you haven't played in eight years. So what? That's a long time. If I, I've been active, it is. I mean, I haven't just been sitting. What do you on mean active? I haven't. I've, I've what been did you act- do yesterday? Did, were you active? Played basketball. Yeah. With a bunch of fat guys at the wire, was no, it elite? I, no, no, no. Where you're did really, you play, you're, Colin? You're disrespecting. I'm me not. Right no. Now. Where did you play? I am confronting you. That's I not disrespectful. I played in a couple of basketball leagues, with it? and tomorrow I'm playing against the Armenian team. I played with guys like Dante Jones, Al okay, Harrington, pros. who plays. Yeah, Al, Al Harrington, who plays That's in the not big dis- three. I am confronting you. That's all right. I, by the way, I argued on a lot of shows. First ballot Hall of Famer. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's Always. All good. I'm not taking offense to it. It's all good. Everybody has their opinion. That's yeah, how you're I think. You're a Hall it's, of it's, Famer. It's, it's, I think there have been times when I've, I've thought there have been times when you've been a little needy for me. For me. Well, I've, I mean, yeah. I mean, to be the best, you have to be a little needy. You have to be a little selfish. I mean, that's been said with Kobe. But, again, so you would say he's needy? I mean, MJ has been that way as well. I mean, these are great players that have excelled at their at their craft. Yeah, I don't mind I mean, the selfish Jerry, thing. Jerry Rice has been the same way. But as far as needy, I don't know what needy means. I don't know what that means. Just because I attract a lot of media attention because of my personality, that doesn't mean that I'm solely needy. 
that's not me. I play at a high level. I'm very productive. I, I often say that my passion and my, lo- my love for the game often, has often been misconstrued as being arrogant, cocky, or what have you. Tom Brady can do those same things, and you guys look at him as a leader. Oh, that's great for the game. It's passion. I've seen him berate players and coaches. And you guys, like yourself, you guys say, oh, that's what the league needs, a champion. But if I or Odell Beckham Jr. do that, it's the polar opposite. Well, I don't like him peeing in the end zone. I'm not into that. I did not necessarily that. I'm not saying that. You know, proposing to a net on the sidelines. I mean, but that's again, that's theatrics. That's 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 Odell being Odell. That's fun. You know what I mean? Again, now you see now everything that I did was frowned upon. By the league. way, what do you make of this it's whole thing? It's now being okay. embraced. We well, got a minute left. Everybody's telling me the Patriots are no fun, and I'm always like, well, they win. Like, what do you make of these assertions that Belichick's grumpy, they're no fun, it's bad for the league, nobody wants to play for him? What do you make of that? I thought you were a winner. Wouldn't you want to just go play with a winner? Exactly, but a lot of guys that have played over there, they I mean, it's like a code of silence that goes on with, the, <laughs> with that team. And then I know, like I said, I've known some guys that have played over there. They say it's not a place you want to go and play. Whoa, whoa, time out. They're in the Super Bowl every year. Okay, but again, the environment is it's not conducive. Yeah, you want a Super Bowl, but yeah, you, you want to have an environment where it's, it's at least fun and to go to work. You want to go to work and have a great environment. But when you drive, you're driving to work. You're not driving to fun. I mean, I drive to work every day. I yeah, hope but you it's don't fun. want it to seem like a job every day. Well, it is. You know what I mean? I have to sit here for three hours prepping for this show. But you every love day. what you're doing, though, right? Uh, some days I love it. Today, right now, I like it. But most days, it's, it's work. It's just like a relationship then. You know, it's like marriage. I've never been married, but that's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I like when you come on the show. Appreciate it. Let, hey. I really do. You, you're in good shape. I'm not, Thank I'll you. never deny that. And you hey, always... let, me, hey, let me know when you want to get your clock out, too. I, I'll come back and run it for you if you need, Listen, need be. Let's, say, let's just... But don't say, don't, don't, you can't say that I can't take a hit. I didn't say you couldn't take a hit. I, I mean, said, don't give me this 4 or 5 nonsense. Well, I give you a 4 or 4 then. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay, I gotta go. I'm a. I gotta go. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hi, everybody! Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the herd, or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.